What is going on everybody? Welcome to the Nerd Collective. This is Rob. Today's going to be a real quick video on Liquid Sky. Liquid Sky just went into beta, open beta recently here. And basically, uh, to make a long story short, Liquid Sky is a online gaming virtual machine, essentially. So what you do is you connect to this virtual machine that has three different levels of performance. Uh, one of which being your kind of average performing computer just like you would have like a normal um, you know entry level or or moderate level uh, gaming computer they advertise that to be able to handle games at 30 fps at 1080p so you have the high fidelity graphics but obviously you know frame rate's going to suffer a little bit because of the performance that it offers they have two more tiers going up from there i believe it's gamer and then elite after that offering more and more high level specs to the virtual machine in order for you to game at better resolutions and better frame rates so basically you purchase credits through their store and you can use those credits on either one of those three virtual machines the entry level one with the lesser performance obviously will cost less amount of credits per hour than the highest level one um, so basically let's go ahead and hop in so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to log in here. So from the main dashboard, you'll have a couple different options here. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, show you what they have here for the purchases. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw a screenshot of that up here in a second just so I can kind of uh, get this going while I show you that. Uh, it did take quite a while for it to load into uh, this uh, this virtual machine. It did take me a few tries with servers being full, um, but it did take me uh, a little bit of time to go ahead and get um, logged in to the actual virtual machine. The three types of performance packages they offer is going to be the gamer version. The next one up is going to be the pro version. That you get double the amount of VRAM for the GPU, so you get 4 gigs of VRAM. You're going to get six virtual cores. You're going to get 16 gigs of RAM. Again, we'll run basically any game. The highest level one that they're going to offer here is going to be the Elite version. So this one, you're going to get eight gigs of VRAM for the GPU. You're going to get 12 virtual cores, 32 gigs of RAM. And this one, they say, will basically run any game you can throw at it uh, at Ultra. Uh, and that will get you 60 plus frames at 1080p. So um, according to these specs, you should be able to get considerably higher FPS uh, than 60 uh, running at 1080p. So basically what does all of this mean? Um, so basically you are using a gaming, a virtual gaming computer. So if you are someone that uh, doesn't have or can't afford a high-end gaming machine uh, to play these games uh, that you want, uh, this is a basically a budget option. Uh, think of it as kind of like a, a Netflix for gaming computers, I guess, is a, the easiest way to put this. Um, but basically, you can choose what performance your virtual computer runs at, which gives you an idea of what to expect with these type of specs if you were to build a computer in the future. So the biggest question is, how is this going to perform? At the end of the day, you are streaming this virtual machine. You are remotely gaming on a remote machine, this, this virtual machine. How does it perform? Uh, it performs about as you would expect. Um, I played a quick round of Overwatch that ended up being uh, not too great. Uh, the input delay is very noticeable. I would... I wouldn't say it's terrible input delay, but it's very, very much noticeable, and it will impact your performance in the game. The game seems to run okay. I did set the maximum FPS to, I believe, 150 frames per second to kind of see how that would run at high quality. Um, I chose the Elite version, uh, the Elite um, package. So that was the 8 gigs of VRAM, the 12 CPU cores, 32 gigs of RAM. I was seeing about 60 to 80 frames on high, so I'm not entirely sure if this is due to a bandwidth bottleneck, uh, if it's because of server clutter, I don't know, but I did not see uh, really anything close to 100 on high, so there could be obviously a limit to that, so I don't know, but again, input delay was very, very much noticeable, and it did impact my play. I'm not going to say I'm a pro at Overwatch by any means, 
uh, but it, it definitely does impact your play, uh, unfortunately. But at the end of the day, it's much better um, than nothing. You're getting, you know, pretty much what you pay for. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video here on Liquid Sky. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please consider subscribing to the Nerd Collective. If you have any questions on this video, definitely leave it in the comments below. If you have any recommendations for any future videos, also leave those in the comments below. And we will see you in the next video.